Hey, good morning from Columbus WDC. Uh, today we're starting off taking a look at some sedum. This is Catacola. Uh, these are a one gallon plant here and you can see the nice color coming on these. You know, aside from the nice bloom in the fall on this plant, uh, again, we've looked at this just for the color of the foliage. It's kind of a nice blue-green, uh, stays low to the ground, nice matting. Um, you know, sedum do prefer to be uh, mostly sun and, and uh, once established prefer pr a little bit more of a dry soil, but um, again, you can see these are getting ready to put on quite a show this fall. And again, here's another look at the Catacolas. Uh, again, makes a great ground cover for a sunny area. Um, not a great one for foot traffic. I mean, being a seed, I'm a succulent. It uh, obviously does not stand up very well to uh, foot traffic or um, you know pets going through. But uh, again, a great one to, to mass out um, and just let it do its thing. Here's another great ground cover sedum. This is uh, Lime Zinger, and as you can see, uh, it's got kind of a variegated foliage. Uh, again, very close to the ground on this one, probably four or five inches tall. Uh, just kind of masses out, um, bright pink, pink blooms. Uh, just another option, again, uh, to the Catacola. Hey, check out this uh, fresh crop of Endless Summer Hydrangea, three gallon. Uh, these plants are gorgeous. Uh, nice, full, bushy plant. Uh, fresh green foliage, uh, absolutely gorgeous. Great value here. Here we're looking at another new arrival at WDC. This is Brunera Jack Frost. Uh, again, we looked at this plant earlier in the spring when it uh, has its uh, bloom going on, which is a, a small blue flower. Um, but you, again, you can see the, the venation in the, the foliage. Um, you know, great plant for the shade. Here's just another look at the Brunera Jack Frost. Um, just a nice uh, compact plant, maybe a foot, uh, foot tall and wide. Um, great way to brighten up some shady spots. Uh, the blue flower, obviously, again, we talked about in the spring, but just look at that foliage. It's just gorgeous. Here we're looking at uh, hibiscus sultry kiss. This is a uh, perennial hibiscus. And you can see the gorgeous color on the flower here. Uh, again, quite large flowers on these. Uh, this plant actually does get some size to it, uh, you know, probably three to four, maybe a little bit more uh, high. So it does need some space. Hey, check out this new batch of little quick fires here. Uh, nice fresh plants, great looking stuff here. Here's another new hydrangea we just got in. Uh, this is little lime in a one gallon, and these are really nice plants. Uh, again, um, size-wise, you know, obviously a smaller container, but nice full plants in them. Um, you know, right now they're setting bud and getting ready to bloom again. Uh, nice clean foliage, and uh, again, a very popular one that uh, we're uh, glad to have back in stock. Here's just a real quick shot of uh, another fresh crop of uh, lime lights in three gallons. And uh, we move through these quite frequently, but you can see here we uh, do a great job of keeping fresh crops in here. Nice cut back, full, not long and leggy and floppy. Um, you know, just great material consistently here from Willoway. Just want to get a shot back in here of our uh, seven gallon pot and pot area. These are uh, magnolias and uh, got some gorgeous looking seven gallon Jim Wilsons. Um, got a couple different types back here as well. Uh, some Janes and we got some Royal Stars, but Again, you know, the seven gallon size uh, is just looking fantastic right now. Nice size to them, you know, five, six foot tall and uh, just in really good shape. Another quick shot of these uh, Jim Wilsons and again, just, uh, you know, great size for this size container and uh, really nice clean foliage on these. Good value again here. Starting to fill back up in our evergreen tree section back here, looking at some Norway spruce. Uh, again, starting to uh, take deliveries here. Uh, they are safely digging. Um, getting a good inventory build up here of some, uh, you know, five to seven uh, foot Norways and uh, also taking in some Colorados. But uh, great looking material again, all arriving here fresh daily. Got looking at a block of uh, five foot Norways again. Nice, consistent, um, good looking material. And, uh, you know, again, just starting to stock back up for fall. Here we're looking at a couple houses of another very popular item. This is uh, three gallon green velvet boxwood. And uh, again, we've got uh, plenty, plenty to choose from here going into the fall. Here's a look at our seven gallon um, pot and pot area. These are uh, emerald green arborvitaes. Uh, as you can see, again, we are uh, nice and stocked up on this plant. Um, seven gallons, about a four foot, um, but nice size for that container and uh, you know, great looking material. Just wanted to end today by taking a look at this block of Caryopteris. This is Petite Blue, two gallon plant here. And, and these things are just gorgeous. Uh, nice, great full plant, full uh, full bloom coming on, and uh, just a super value here. So uh, thanks again. Uh, we'll see you next week with more updates.